yourself and then return to the lane. The best part about Lu playing Arc Warden is that these small instances where Venom Monster has to back up to heal doesn't necessarily impact your farm output as the, as the Arc Warden. Yeah, the hero overall feels much better, much easier to farm with at the moment. Oh, they actually almost got a kill here onto Rubik, and they will find it. Lu gets the first blood, but the question oh, is, will he survive? No, he won't. Shang Yu ends up getting the kill on top of him nice to get play. quick revenge here. Nice, nice play by the Timber, planting that branch so that he has important who gets level 6 and minute 6 rune, bot lane though, Venom. They really want this Venom monster, but they don't want to dive too far for this either. Mid lane, We're going back here as Emo falling super low, QIQX will buy the space and time, and Emo has level 6, so with the fortunes in and the focus fire, they turn onto Somnus. Somnus doesn't have his ultimate, focus fire will end, but so will Somnus' life, as he dies first, and the experience will go the way of Emo. Very nicely done by IG in the mid lane here. Take advantage of the level uh, experience advantage that they had and get the kill. Okay, so Emo gets the kill, but... Uh, no, Emo gets the experience, but Somnus gets the kill. Because actually it was the Oracle that got the kill, right? Ah, I see, I see, yes. PYW. There's a little bit of danger here. Timber Chain will miss, trying to go on to Tian Ming. PYW will end up dead. Beautiful power shot from Emo. He rotates bottom, kills off. This hero and Venom Monster cannot assist Lu anymore, who will promptly TP out himself. He's like, well, the only stuns they have are Telekinesis and Shackle Shot. We've already killed the Telekinesis carrier, so I can just get out to safety. Up on top, though, Chalice, not going to be as lucky as QIQX. Finishes him off with the Purifying mm. Flames. That's a sub minute seven Midas on Emo. Will he get zipped in? He does indeed. Primal Roll will be there as well. Mystic Flare dropped down. Does it enough to kill Emo? Not just yet. He goes in. Focus Fire with the Wind Run. Oh, and nice a beautiful shackle. shackle Shot on the two. Somnus almost dies from this, but barely able to escape. Emo now. He's surrounded by Radiant Heroes, but he does have backup coming in. As they bring down Tian Ming, Shang Yu will show up to assist them, killing off Chalice. And they get that with the Power Shot. Emo not only stays alive, gets some kills on the way out. They just keep the entire map as it was. Because that you'd... Uh... You have a team that's able to get some pick-offs and you should be doing that. I think when you're playing versus Arc Ward and he's got that double Midas, right? You want to be um, at least preventing him for having full farm. Top lane, Roar and Mystic Flare. Easy kill onto Rubik. PY Dub goes down. The question is, can they avenge him? Emo, trying to find the angle here. Shackle Shot doesn't latch, but he already got off the Focus Fire. So FY will definitely be dead to rights. A killing spree for Emo. Yeah, maybe, okay. a, maybe a halberd on Scepter some. with a Gleipnir. Mm -hmm. They certainly would like to use this in some kind of engagement. Uh, what do we buy next for this Wind Ranger? Do we go defensive with BKB slash Lincolns here? Maybe Lincolns could be decent, right? Against think, the Beastmaster. Yeah, I think Lincolns is pretty good. The problem is two Gleipnirs on Arc. Uh, Terra Blade is just killed off. Dust killed. He's going to be joined in the grave by PYW as well. That, that is huge. This Terror Blade not going to be allowed to die all that often in a game like this. Middle, at least Emo able to bring down this Venomancer, but he's being chased at the moment. Lu was considering... Po Everybody knows that everyone else knows that they're here. <laughs> so Storm goes he's going to be the one to make the jump, though. Looking for QIQX. He pops the BKB. He really wants the Oracle. The Reign of Destiny will be dropped down, buying space and time. In the meantime, Oracle still gets off the False Promise onto this Wind Ranger. And now they throw the Primal Roar onto Somnus. There is going to be the Rod of Atos with Shackle Shot. And they kill him off. Storm down for the count. Tian Ming might be chasing him as well. Falling very, very low to the damage of the Timbersaw. Dust will finish him off and claim a double kill for his efforts. And they're not done just yet. Emo would love to find somebody for a shackle shot. Allowed me to save Emo with a false promise. And we see what we see in a lot of these games, Liz. The inability to kill Oracle early on creates massive problems for your team fight prospects later. Oh, if they go through the Twin Gate. Oh, oh no, Terrorblade came first, Terrorblade came first, Terrorblade is dead! Somnus pops BKB to dive deeper into the fight. Emo just gonna be forced to run away. At least Zhang Yu will be able to bring down Tian Ming. And the rest of the heroes from Adaya side are streaming into this fight. Emo on the north, he really needs to escape away from FY. FY chases him, FY gets the damage and Somnus gets the cleanup. Turning it into a double for the storm. The two big cores on IG brought down and all because of... Like, you really want to be jumping the Arc Warden somehow. You need to smoke out of your base, but there's Vision on you, there's Venom Wards, there's Hawks. Mm. I, 
feel like you need this the MKBs is... as well, but you're not gonna get them fast enough. It's just so rough for them, and whilst they're playing around here with IG, the top lane of Rax has been taken, and they take away the life of the Timbersaw right now. He buys back. Oh, and, the TV as well. They need to buy back on TV, because TV also got eviscerated. GG. Oracle dies as well, can't get off the false promise. And yes, these heroes have buyback, but honestly, even if they do, what can they realistically accomplish against AR? So they throw in the towel. Ooh. GG well played is called, and AR make game number one. It's been a previous game. There's so many additional ways to follow up. Like once a charge hits, there's an onslaught coming in. This Wind Ranger is going to show up. Global Silence to help cover it all. And we're going to have a very small skirmish here over a bounty rune. It ends up being successful for the side of IG. The onslaught up onto Switch. the high ground now, looking for Tian Ming, and they should be able to find the first blood, drawn by Emo with the power shot. So three bounty runes. Oh, is it three or two that they got? They got two bounty runes, but they did get a D award for Silencer and the... Okay, he'll be fine. He's got a lot of region. And almost is the key word, right? Like, if you go on him, you use all the, your spells. Luna is a bit freer under the tower. If you like QX, though, once again, is there a Lucent Beam to it's save It's not him? actually going to make the full dive. The Lucent Beam will be there, but it's not going to save. You still will end up dead. Okay, FY. And FY, <laughs> what a boss. Relax, relax. Stop playing Lich. They're going to be able to get a quick kill onto Tian Meng. So second death on the Lich. Primal Beast will end up dead as well. Brought down by Lu. They got the kill first on the side of IG. And I'm not sure if Primal was able to spend his gold on the way out. The Water Ruins should be picked up by the Void Spirit and the Wind Ranger. But Void Spirit... Might have to go back to kill off Wind Ranger because she's in trouble right now. Sinister Gay is trying to drag her back into the river. They don't get far enough. And FY trying to chase down this Wind Ranger. Can't get there in time. Instead gets shackled to Tian Ming. And FY, will he get Emo? No, he will not. Emo gets the kill. He might even Emo. survive this. Emo, 20 HP. But he does end up losing his life. Tian Ming, though, almost certainly will not escape with his own life from this. Top play. Oh. QIQX shows up. Should be able to find this kill. And... Uh, becomes a two-for-one affair. Yeah, when, while that was happening and while Sanser was busy stealing his Zint, top lane Lu almost died. Like, he was literally... Sorry. Once Chalice hit six, which should be after this Carty, I think they are um, very free to make a rotation on top of her. And both Bat mm. and Lich have rotated in. Let's see, Dust. Is there a Flame oh Break? Oh, God. Oh. There is not. There's a slowdown from the Frost Shield. In the meantime, they do kill Lu on the other side of the map. And Dust is still alive. There's no level 6 for Chalice. It just arrives. He has Chakram. Do they have the, what it takes to kill Dust? They should indeed, with FY coming in with the Flame Break. Hmm. So both safe laners end up dead right now on both sides of the map. Yeah, I love how these two teams are just mirroring one another. Arcane Rune. Mid lane? Mm -hmm. They're actually going on to Somnus as well. They didn't get the full latch with the Shackle Shot. But they still might feel they have what it is takes. That? They almost killed him. Arcane Curse, will it kill him off? Yes, it will. The Curse of QIQX ticks through and secures them the life of this Void Spirit. Yeah, that's sad, sad uh, moment. The fact that Lich died. Yeah, definitely. And uh, they do want to try and utilize the Sea Dragon to take down this tier 1 tower with this double damage rune as well. But IG... Looking like they want to try and fight this. They're charging in with the Spirit Breaker, charging on through to multiple heroes. Shackle Shot will not last. The Pulverize will be there. Do they have the damage to kill Lu? Yes, they do. Love the Global Silence to cover it all. The Onslaught does get cancelled out, so Somnus feels free to jump back in. Doesn't find a target, though. Kaka, or FY rather, finds a very good last two onto QIQX. Chalice, thinking about taking the fight further forward, though, onto Emo. But they'll run back with the few heroes that remain middle. Yeah, look at that crazy 11 minute mark. 10 heroes mid. Chal is just a tanky beast right now. Can they actually tank the tower as well? Summoners going in. Summoners goes in. Yet again, can't find the further latch. And Chalice is falling low. Nether Strike pushes him towards the tier 1 tower. He barely gets away. Lucent Beam will be there from dust. And a couple more right clicks will finish him off. PYW will die from this as Somnus gets revenge. But now Somnus has no way out. Somnus is going to end up dead. Oh no. The, the tower is still defended. But more importantly, IG strike back hard and kill off two big cores on Azure Ray. I love the Manta, by the way, on uh, Somnus that he's building into. It's it's an amazing item overall on Universal Heroes, and then um, it's amazing on Void Spirit because of the amount of damage that he dishes out. And the Silence, obviously. Yeah. 
Should be a very quick kill onto the silence. So speaking Petros. of him, but that being said, they want to avenge him. Shackle shot from Emo will lash out. Here comes Young Yu as well. Do they have the pulverize necessary? But there's a chrono on the back edge. On the two, Somnus is still alive. The chain frost was bouncing around as well. Somehow though, the only hero that has died just yet is PYW. Shang Yu though, very sadly will follow him into the grave as Emo needs to escape this. Somnus, he's nearby. Somnus looking for the jump. Ash was okay. Dust? Oh no, Luna! Wait, what? Why is Luna the one caught? Oh no, she's alive. There's no global to bail her out of this one. PKB just arrived off the courier. And they turn around with the Eclipse, putting in some damage towards FY. And hopefully killing off the Bat Rider. No, he is still alive. Chain Frost bouncing back onto Emo, killing off the Wind Ranger. And Shang Yu also gonna be just able to barely escape away from this area. Wait, so they didn't lose anyone in the end, right? On the side For of... They'll have some kind of option. Right now, IG. They have a charge going into FY. It does go all the way. PYW will never strike him or think about it. Will force the Yules out, but the Onslaught comes in from Shang Yu. They should be able to bring down FY without too much difficulty. And the question is, what else can they get? They find Tian Ming, who throws out a chain frost as well before taking a tumble here. So that spell will be down when he respawns. He got some creeps, some ancient seas, because you'll have a chrono you ha on one side, you'll have a global on the other. Roshan will move top. Yep. Chalice, top They're also going to make a move onto Chalice. Chalice, Pulverize will be there. They have Global for this if they want to. Shackle Shot does oh, come out too. Chrono. Three heroes inside the Chronosphere. One of them being Silencer, the other being Luna and Wind Ranger. And now there's no Global, there's no Luna, there's no Wind Ranger or Silencer. Every one of them is dead. Only Shang Yu is alive. FY has Lasso though, going to hold him in position. Keep him in place for the rest of the lineup. Yulzing him so he can't onslaught away. So Shang Yu will just be killed off, turning this into a full five hero wipe. They don't lose a single person and they get the Roshan out of it because they definitely have some armor reduction. Yeah, they. Why throws back the Yule Scepter onto PYW and there's the Global Silence. Nullifier though goes out onto him and Somnus also pops the Mansa so he can pop his spells. They're going deeper into the spray. IG now just trying to run away. Lincoln Sphere blocks the Shackle Shot from Emo. But they get the Sinister Gaze out onto the Wind Ranger. She is almost certainly dead. Dragged in by the Aether Remnant. And brought down by the real carrier of this game, Tian Ming on his Lich. FY. Now going for another target. Flame Break back onto QIQX. We'll set up for a kill onto the support. Both heroes do have buyback, but would be very low to use it. But they might have to, because Azure Ray want the mid lane of Rack. Yeah, if they want to do Chronoed. Face the Void got global, he never even mantled. They don't have to do any of that. Chalice now uh, coming in right on top of this Primal Beast who's been dragged in by FY's lasso. Jump in by PYW, but the ultimate from Lou even better. Stalling dust in his tracks. They need the Luna's damage and she's not going to be able to provide it. She dies, forced to buy back almost instantly, but the fight's not over as they go on to Emo and kill off this Wind Ranger too. Chalice sets up for another easy kill onto the Silencer. And they've already brought back on three. They might Wait, have to buy back on all why five is, here. Why is dust on the... Outpost. Okay, he TP'd on the outpost after buying back. In any case, it doesn't matter. It's a GG. I feel that Azure, they just demonstrated a different level of gameplay. When it comes to yeah. like all of these gangs, these small little skirmishes, these...